Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called STP Root Bridge Election. In order for spanning tree to work, it must decide which ports to leave in the forwarding mode and which ports to put in blocking mode. This is a two-part process. First, the group of connected switches must elect one of the switches to be the root of the tree. Secondly, the other switches must decide which ports they should put in the blocking state and which ports they should put in the forwarding state based upon the port's relationship to the root switch. In this video, we'll look at the first step of this process. We will look at the second step in a future video. Spanning tree must choose a frame of reference to start the spanning tree. When the switches are first turned on, all of them send out packets called BPDUs to other connected switches. The BPDUs, which are also known as bridge protocol data units, contain the switches bridge priority and MAC address. The switch that has the lowest bridge priority will become the root bridge. But if more than one switch has the lowest priority number, then the switch with the lowest bridge priority followed by the lowest MAC address will become the root bridge. In the animation shown, root 6 is the root switch. It is sending out BPDU packets to the connected switches to maintain its position as root bridge. All the switches assume that they are root switches on startup and will send out BPDUs announcing that until it receives a superior BPDU from a neighboring switch, at which point it will stop advertising its own BPDU and just pass along modified versions of the root switch BPDU. The spanning tree VLAN priority command allows you to modify the bridge priority number. The show spanning tree command gives information about which interfaces are participating in spanning tree and their metrics. We are looking at a redundant switch setup similar to the way an enterprise network might be set up. There is a core layer, a distribution layer, and an access layer. Each switch have multiple connections so that if one of the links go down, at least another link can replace it. We can see that Spanning Tree is active on this network, shown by the amber link lights on the ports that are being blocked. In this networking lab, we will first verify which switch is currently the root bridge, and then we'll make one switch in the core layer the root bridge, and the second one the backup root bridge. First, let's try to find out which switch is the root switch. We know that all the ports on the root switch is in forwarding mode, so that all of its link lights should be green. Only switches 4 and 6 are all green. Let's look at switch 4 terminal window and see if it is the root. Switch 4 is not the root because the MAC address for the root ID is different from the MAC address of the bridge ID. Also all the switch ports would be designated ports. We see that the root bridge is only one fast Ethernet jump away because it has a cost of 19. Now, let's look at the terminal window of switch 6 to see if it is the root bridge. Under the root ID, it says this bridge is the root. Also notice that all the ports are designated ports. 
which six is the root bridge. In this animation, we can see the BPDU packets originating from switch 6 and branching out to the rest of the network. It is usually a best practice to have both the root bridge and the backup root bridge in the core layer. This makes the switches in the core layer both the root bridge and the backup root bridge. We are now looking at the terminal window of switch 1. We will make switch 1 the root bridge by setting its priority to 0. We are looking at the terminal window of switch 2. Now let's make switch 2 the backup root bridge by setting its priority to a slightly higher number. Notice that the link lights have changed and now all the link lights on switch 1 are green. They are designated ports. We now see that the BPDU packets originating from switch 1 and branching out to the rest of the network. This is a better design. We have just seen how we can select with which will be the root bridge in order to influence the best spanning tree design. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.